It's competitive. It's fast paced. Sometimes people get hurt. We're talking about the sport of people get yo yo. Realize people get hurt. A young man in Chandler is one of the best, and he is headed to Iceland of all places to test his skills at an international competition. He showed off to our Lauren Reimer. It takes a lot of practice to become a yo-yo world champion, but one Chandler boy thinks he has what it takes. It takes um, effort, practice. 10 hours a day, every day. 12-year-old Hunter Fierstein works on his moves. I actually make up all my own tricks because once you learn all the basics, you can just um, basically combine those and make it into your own tricks. He has nearly a hundred yo-yos in his collection. This is my favorite. It's called the Shutter by Yo-Yo Factory. That's the one he'll be bringing with him when he leaves Saturday for an international yo-yo competition in Iceland. Hunter will go up against nearly 200 other players from 30 countries, many of them much older than him. I'm hoping to make it to the semifinal round. Hunter started playing after his mother signed him and his brother up for classes one summer. Who's better, you or your brother? Me. Sorry, Tanner. Four years later, Hunter is the one doing the teaching. So right now, Hunter's going to show me the basic throw. OK, so what are the steps? So you're going to make a muscle, mm -hmm. and then you're going to throw, mm -hmm. turn your hand over, and tug up. Yep. Oops. Training for a yo-yo competition has its ups and downs. Um, I hit myself in the face today, like five times. A small price to pay for excellence. I want to eventually become the world yo-yo champion. Lauren Reimer. 3TV.